Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Lopez. I'm a clean beauty advocate, a mother of two who loves to talk and learn all things health and wellness. And today I'm going to be talking about how to boost your immune system when you're sick. I'm so excited to talk about this topic. I have got tons of requests for this. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. If you like the video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the vibe, be sure to subscribe and definitely go and follow me on Instagram where I share more about clean beauty and healthy living and we could just connect and get to know each other more. So how to boost your immune system when you're sick. We all know like once you get sick, you start Googling and you're like, trying to figure out what do I need to do to get better as soon as possible. Um, I've been there and have experienced me and my family are a lot more natural minded. Um, we're not against medical intervention at all, but we just try to use natural ways to boost our immune system. And I've learned a lot of tips and tricks throughout the years. And all the advice I'm giving is backed by credible professional sources and scientific research. So if you check out my full blog post, which I'll be linking down below. I will have all of the sources listed there, all of the research and everything I used to come up with this awesome information to share with you. I just want to give the disclaimer that I am not a healthcare professional. I am in no way giving you medical advice. Definitely check in with your doctor before making any changes to your diet, lifestyle, or taking any supplements. These are just things that have helped me and my family and are backed up by science and really do help to boost your immune system. My family and I, we actually had got COVID about two months ago. We were really blessed to have like mild cases. My Both of my kids were completely asymptomatic and it was really mild for me and my husband. However, some of the symptoms did linger on for me still to this day, but I feel like a lot of the things that we did helped us be less scared, it helped us prepare. I knew exactly what to do when the moment came because of all the research and experience that I had in boosting the immune system that I was ready and geared up for the war to give our bodies the best chance at fighting off the virus. Now, I can't say for sure that these supplements and things that we did contributed to us fighting off the virus or having a mild case there's no way of knowing that for sure but i do feel confident and i know that these things do help your immune system and i feel like they could have definitely contributed to us having a mild case and being able to fight off the virus so today i'm going to be sharing some natural ways that you can boost your immune system and i'm also going to be sharing supplements my favorite supplements for my family and myself, ones that we use during COVID and other times we've been sick and also ones that my kids use. So if you're interested specifically in the supplements, because I know a lot of people request that, I will put a timestamp in the description box that will tell you exactly when I start talking about the supplements. But first, I really want to talk about natural ways you could boost the immune system that are completely free. They don't cost anything. You don't have to buy any supplements, take any pills. These are natural, science-proven and backed ways that you can boost your immune system naturally. And a lot of them are kind of like you would think common sense, but really they're things that we just don't do. And it's just little habits that you can make in your everyday life that are going to make a big change in your life when it comes to your immune health, when it comes to just your health in general, preventing disease and infection and boosting your immune system. So the first one is hydration. Yes, I know you've probably seen that one coming, but you need to drink more water. Okay. Okay. I personally don't drink enough water. We as a nation are chronically dehydrated and it's really important to focus on drinking a lot of water, especially when you're sick. So on an average day, you should be drinking about half your body weight in ounces. So if you weigh 150 pounds, then you should be drinking 75 ounces of water. So when you're sick, you're probably gonna need to increase that even more. So measure out your water or something, but really you need to drink more fluids in general. And I really advise against cold liquids when you're sick. In Chinese medicine, uh, they really promote warming foods when you're sick. And so think, you know, hot tea, think hot broths, you know, it doesn't just have to be water. Um, and if you do drink water, you know, maybe just room temperature or even warming it a bit. One of the teas that my family and I love to drink when we're sick is the Echinacea by 
by Traditional Medicinals. I really love this brand and they make an echinacea with elderberry, which are two things that are that can help your immune system. So this is a great tea to drink. Green tea is also great, has a lot of benefits, and there's been a lot of evidence showing that it could be helpful with COVID as well. And then ginger tea. Ginger is an anti-inflammatory. It's so, so good for you, and especially when you're sick. I make this ginger tea that I swear by. I just add like freshly grated ginger. You could add like orange peels or lemon peels. You can add some cinnamon sticks, like fennel. Like you could add so much good stuff to it. But in general, as long as it, even if it's just the ginger, and then you add a little bit of raw honey, that's gonna be so good for you. Drink as much of that as possible, like all throughout your sickness, and it's definitely going to help you. Fluids help flush the bacteria out of your system. It also helps to break up mucus and congestion and things like that. So it is very, very important. You can also, also if you have a fever, instead of doing Gatorade, you could do like coconut water. That is a great one. It's going to help hydrate you without the food colorings and the added sugars, which actually lower your immune system. So I love coconut water when we have fevers. If you don't like the taste of coconut water, you could get coconut waters that are flavored with just pure fruit. So I think Vita Coco has one that's just flavored with pineapple or there's like a mango. So those ones, they taste kind of like fruit juice, but they don't have like lots and lots of sugar. Another way you can add minerals back into your body is by putting sea salt in your water, not just regular table salt, but sea salt. Uh, you could put, I put like a quarter to an eighth teaspoon in my water and I drink that and I really, it really doesn't bother me at all. I got used to it and it's really good for you. So another thing besides hydration is going to be movement. Movement is so important. Movement is going to increase your circulation. It's going to move your lymph. Your lymph help drain helps drain toxins from your system and it does not pump on its own. It needs to be pumped. So any kind of movement is going to help you. So if you're really weak and sick and like pretty much bedridden, even if you could just sit up and like move your shoulders, do some stretching, like that's gonna help you in general. If you can get up, go in your backyard and just like walk around, even if it's for a couple minutes, you could get like one of those rebound little trampolines and just do a few jumps on those. That's gonna be so important for helping your immune system and moving that lymph and getting that bacteria and everything flushed out of your system. Next is sunlight, God-given sunlight. It's so amazing and it does wonders for your body. We need sunlight every day. Our eyes need to see sunlight. Our skin needs to see sunlight. And so if you have sunlight, then definitely get out there and get some sun. I know you have to be careful of skin cancer and the sun has been demonized because of skin cancer, but little bits of sunlight every day without SPF is really important. Personally, I always put SPF on my face because I want my face to look as young <laughs> for as long as possible. But as far as your skin, you need, you know, at least 30 minutes a day with no SPF on your skin. That way you can actually absorb vitamin D. If you do have SPF on, you're not going to absorb the vitamin D. You're not going to get all the benefits of the sun. If you burn really easily, then just increase your sun exposure like five minutes at a time. But if you could work up to at least 30 minutes a day, then that's going to be amazing for you. Not only does this is the sun the best source of vitamin D, which is so important for your immune system, it also boosts serotonin. So serotonin is like the happy drug, you know, it's like this chemical that just makes you happy. It helps to reduce depression. And when you're sick, you tend to get depressed. And that happiness and that serotonin can really make a big difference when you're sick and just in everyday life in general. The sun also reduces inflammation and it energizes the T cells in your body, which help to fight infection and inflammation and they help to increase your immune function. So that's really important. The sun plays such a vital role. Next is laughter, one of my favorite things to do. I love a good laugh. I love joking around, talking shit. That's like my favorite thing. 
Um, so laughter is so important when you're sick and sometimes, you know, we get stuck feeling like really down and sad for ourselves, rightfully so, because we want to feel better. But if you could find some type of way to get that laughter, I know when we had COVID, my husband had got it first and we were completely like quarantined from each other. And he's like my best friend, like me and him, our favorite thing to do is like laugh and just like, you know, have a blast together. Like, and we weren't able to do that and things were like really serious around the house and we just felt terrible and then once i got the symptoms as well we came back together and we finally were able to like watch funny shows and like laugh together and i felt like we both started feeling so much better at that point laughter reduces stress hormones blood pressure it increases the circulation in your body it releases endorphins and it actually also energizes those t cells in your body it also increases the natural killer cells and it stimulates your organs. So laughter is so important. Even if you are all alone by yourself in isolation, think of something that makes you laugh. Call a friend, put on a funny, like stupid TV show, like just something that could get you laughing and out of that funk is going to make a big difference for you. Okay, now we're going to get into one of my favorite subjects, which is nutrition. Oh my gosh, America is so bad when it comes to nutrition. It drives me crazy. I used to be that way too. I used to eat fast food and drink soda every day. If I can do it, then you could do it. But eating clean is so important. And when you're sick, you really want to avoid sugars and processed foods fast foods, please, at all costs, it's going to keep you sick for longer. No 7-Up, okay? My mom used to <laughs> feed me 7-Up every time I was sick. It's like, that's like the worst thing that you could have when you're sick. Just don't do it, trust me, and you will get better faster. So yeah, avoiding sugar at all costs when you're sick, I would say raw honey is okay if you need a little bit of that sweetness i know when i'm sick honestly i do crave carbs so what i do is like i'll bake sweet potatoes and so i'll eat like sweet potatoes because that's really warming and grounding for your body and it has that carb and then i'll make rice and i'll cook it in bone broth and i'll eat that if you can eat vegetables if you can tolerate vegetables or organic meats then that's great making like an organic chicken soup would be amazing adding garlic and onion and stuff like that because all of that is helpful to the immune system and fighting infection but yeah if you are too weak to like prepare or you don't have anybody to prepare food for you then try to look for something in your area that is not fast food maybe a local restaurant that has like soups or rice and meat and like cooked steamed vegetables uh, you want foods that are cooked down you don't want to be eating a lot of raw foods when you're sick because you need the help from the digestion system well, if you don't feel like eating at all that's okay our body sometimes needs time to fast and heal so it needs to convert all of its energy to healing our bodies and not just like digesting food so that could be um something you know maybe you could just sip on broth that would be good because it has nutrients and protein in it so you're not going to get like um you're not going to feel super sick by being like deficient in protein and you're going to keep like your strength but you're not going to be you know eating food if you can't seem to tolerate food at the moment also you probably want to avoid dairy dairy actually makes phlegm thicker it doesn't you know do well with your digestive system when you're sick so staying away from dairy is going to be a good thing too you know try to avoid that if you can and then before we get into supplements, the last natural way is going to be sleep and rest. Obviously, that is so good for your body. Sleep and rest as much as possible. Listen to your body. And that kind of brings me into the supplements. So once again, these are the supplements that my family and I have used. This is what works for us. You know, I decided on these supplements because they have clean ingredients. I'm very picky with my supplements. And I also, through research, found that these were going to be important supplements for us to take while we were sick. So definitely consult with your doctor before, you know, going out and getting supplements do your own research but these are the ones that i personally like so while we're on the subject of sleep i'm going to talk about this pure encapsulations best rest formula this is one that i personally took because i have insomnia i have such trouble like sleeping i've always had problems with that and this one has um b6 in it melatonin gaba l-theanine valerian root lemon balm hops passion flower and chamomile a lot of those are really good for you when you're sick melatonin is an anti-inflammatory and it's actually shown in studies that it could be a good therapeutic for covid so 
melatonin is going to help you get that sleep and I love the, everything that comes in this particular formula. So I do recommend this. I still take it from time to time. And I definitely took it every night when I was sick to help me sleep. The next thing is glutathione. This is a newer product that I started taking this past year. But glutathione plays a crucial role in immune function. And it promotes those T cells that we talked about that are going to help you fight off infection. These are a couple brands I tried. Uh, you want to get liposomal glutathione. That's the best kind. It tastes terrible, okay? So if you're not great with taste, um, these do have like flavorings, but overall it doesn't taste good but it's very good for you and a highly recommended supplements from many healthcare professionals that i look up to so this one is from uh, designs for health and i took this one for a long time and now i am trying this one this is from seeking health and this is their optimal liposomal glutathione plus and this one has a lot of other really great things in it, like molybdenum, molybdenum I can never say it, molybdenum, uh, glutathione, um, phosphatidylcholine, it has riboflavin, selenium, just other cofactors that are going to help your glutathione production and just kind of go hand in hand with glutathione. So that's why I'm taking this one now. And this one comes in a really big bottle. Like I said, it doesn't taste good, but um, I don't mind. You know, I take whatever <laughs> I need to take. I get it done. Probiotics. Probiotics, I know you've probably heard about them, but they're also really great for your digestive system. And when paired with prebiotics, it shows that they could be very beneficial for the immune system as well. So this one is a soil based. This is one of my favorite probiotics. It's the Mega Spore Biotics by Microbiome Labs. And this is one that I personally take. Um, kids could take this too. You could open up and put like half a capsule like mixed in with like their yogurt or applesauce or something like that or a smoothie. So I really like this. Vitamin C, this is the one I personally take. I recommend just doing a whole food version of vitamin C. Honestly, this one tastes like ass. <laughs> But I take it because it has sodium and potassium and whole food vitamin C. I mix it into my water and I drink it every morning. It's my little ritual to make sure I'm being, you know, hydrated and getting essential nutrients. But any whole food source of vitamin C, I will be linking in my blog post more supplements that I recommend besides just the ones that I'm showing you right now. Like another vitamin C that I take that is in pill form that I used to take and I really like that as well. So I'll be showing sharing more product recommendations in there as well. Okay, so those are kind of things that I take like in general and I definitely made sure to remember to take them when I was sick. These are things that I added in only while we were sick and only for the time that we were sick, I don't take them every single day. So this is Zinc Plus by Organic Olivia. This is one of her new formulas. Her uh, parents, they had got a very, very bad case of COVID. They both almost died. It was, you definitely have to listen to her story on her podcast, What's the Juice? She tells all about it. Through her research and journey with her parents inspired her to make some newer formulas. And one of them is a Zinc Plus. And this comes with zinc, copper, quercetin, um, EC, EGCG from green tea, orange peel powder, biopurine. So zinc has been shown to be a really important supplement to take, especially with COVID. It's really important for immune health and the other cofactors that she has in this formula, just the combination of them through her research are gonna be very vital when you're sick. So we made sure to incorporate this while we were sick. We definitely did not skip this. The other thing that we took only while we were sick is her other formula that she came out with. This is Microbiome Guard. So this has fresh herbs in it that are going to help maintain a healthy microbiome and support your respiratory system. So we really wanted to prevent that deep respiratory infection that a lot of people were getting. So we made sure to take this every day. Neither of us ever had any respiratory symptoms. Um, I don't know if it attributes to this or not. I just know that we made sure to take this as a preventative and it has some really great herbs in it. Okay, the next products I'm going to mention are going to be kid safe as well. Don't forget that you definitely need to consult with your pediatrician before giving anything to your kids. But these were things that we decided to give to our kids they were asymptomatic and we just made sure to give these things to them throughout the whole time. One thing is elderberry 
all of us took this like we were downing this like crazy we went through the bottle so quick so definitely have a couple bottles on deck but there's been great research on elderberry when it comes to shortening the duration of your sickness and even preventing it altogether if you're if taken you know consistently and early enough so we made sure to take this all along the way to help our immune system and then we also took bioactive silver hydrosol this is colloidal silver it has no taste in it it's so easy to add to your kids stuff to our stuff but it's extremely antimicrobial extremely antibacterial and we also nebulize this so we just bought like a little nebulizer on amazon i will link it below the one we got and we put some of this in there and nebulize it so we we're breathing it in through our nose and our lungs so I really, really liked this practice. I think that this is some really powerful stuff. Like I said, antimicrobial, antibacterial, and the kids could take it as well. The kids could nebulize it. So yeah, definitely get some of this. And then a vitamin D, vitamin K supplement. Every time you take vitamin D, you are also going to want to take vitamin K. That is very important. And so this one I like, it's from Pure, my bottle's all oily, but it's from Pure Therapro RX. And it has vitamin D3, vitamin K2, vitamin MK4, and MK7. So it has all kinds of different Ks and it has the D in it. Uh, for my kids, you know, they only took one or two drops. Me and my husband took about five drops, um, depending on the IUs per drop. So this is very important. Vitamin D has been showing to make a big difference, especially in COVID patients and the severity of their disease. So definitely get some vitamin D. I love this one. It's tasteless. It's so easy to add to anything. And then the last thing is purely a kid's supplement. This is My Kind Organics Kids Multivitamin Gummies. My kids are really picky when it comes to like their gummies. These ones are okay. Like it's not like they're like, oh, this is so delicious, but it's tolerable for them. They chew it. And what I love about this one is that it uses whole food organic sources for all the vitamins. There are so many junky kids vitamins out there. It is ridiculous. It makes me so mad. And these ones have all organic fruits and vegetables, broccoli sprouts, kale, cucumber, like everything you could think of. And it has methylated B12. It has folate, which are very important for absorption. So this is my favorite one. It kind of has a little bit of everything. I make sure my kids take this year round and the affordability of it is better than a lot of the other ones. Um, I've seen some that might be a little bit better than this, but they're so expensive and I have two kids and they each have to take, you know, two vitamins each and it just like, it adds up. I get mine on Thrive Market for a pretty good discount. Uh, these are the ones that I go for. Anyways, that was everything I wanted to share. I know it was jam packed full of information. I hope that these practices could help you so much. Make sure to go check out my blog post. I list so much more information there on all of my YouTube videos. Usually have like a blog post link to it where I share tons of information. On this one, there's gonna be more supplements. There's gonna be links to everything. There's gonna be more information and science on why these certain supplements work and why we took them and all of that. So it's gonna really be giving a comprehensive breakdown of every single thing that we just talked about here today. If you found this video helpful, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like the vibe, then be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.